Hi and welcome to this video um, on how to create a map in Tableau with multiple icons on the same location. Uh, so you might have noticed in Tableau when you're trying to plot multiple icons on a map, for example in on countries as here you see, um, this works as long as you have just one icon. However, when you have several ones, Tableau starts stacking them on top of each other, which isn't really neat, which isn't really useful if you want to show several of these categories per country. So. Uh, we're going to see in this video how you can actually circumvent this problem and get Tableau to draw the icons neatly next to each other. Before I continue though, I might want to have to know that um, this um, this video is actually related to a blog post on our Bistory blog, uh, which is linked in the description below uh, this video. And so you can you can follow the link and on there you'll find the, the data that I'm using for this example. You can copy and paste it into Tableau and you'll be able to use it. So if you want to follow along uh, with the steps, then you might want to do that. Additionally, on the blog post you'll find all of the instructions as well, and then the formulas that we'll be using, I'll be copying as well later. So, um, this is the data that I'm using, is the one from the blog post. You see the countries have several categories, or just one of them. And then, when, again, when plotting them, Tableau stacks the icons on top of each other, and this is not how we want to see them. So I want to draw them maybe next to each other, and so what's the actual trick going to be about? So you know that, uh, you might know that when Tableau draws a map, Tableau is actually using two axes, one for the latitude or the y-axis and one for the longitude or the x-axis, um, to plot these icons on a, on a 2D chart, actually. So all we have to do is actually uh, change that latitude and longitude to be able to move the icons around, so if we could actually have a separate location for each of the icons by calculating one, then Tableau would be able to show them next to each other. So by default, as I have data by country, Tableau is actually using this latitude and longitude right here, which it generates automatically. And there's one small problem with that, because if I want to create a calculation, a calculated field, in which we're going to move these coordinates around for each category. The problem is that I cannot reuse these calculations and this generated longitude in my own calculation. So I'm going to have to find another way to get the country uh, coordinates in the data set that I can use. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to use a secondary data source with the uh, coordinates for the countries that I have in my data set and uh, use that to be able to use the coordinates in calculations. So the quickest and easiest way to do this is just to select all of the icons using Ctrl A and then viewing the data between them. This is just for demo purposes. In case you use uh, icons on every country in the world, you might want to grab a data set uh, online with the coordinates of the country and then just reuse that one. Um, might be better uh, in long term. But right now I'm just going to copy and paste this data right here. Uh, and when I paste it into Tableau, Control v you'll see that Tableau is actually creating another data source here and I'm being shown each country and the average coordinate here. So this is exactly what I need. Just a quick, uh, quick trick here. So now what I can do is I can go back to my primary data source and I can create calculations which actually use the latitude and longitude from that secondary data source. So I can go ahead and just create ones that just mirror uh, the coordinates. Uh, so I have the latitude there and then I create a second one for the longitude like this. And by default, Tableau doesn't recognize those as geographical coordinates, so I might have to right-click them and tell the Tableau that the geographic role for these fields are respectively latitude and then longitude. And I can go ahead and actually replace the fields on the map with those, and you wouldn't see any change at all because it's the same coordinates, basically. I'm now showing there, but I can use these in the calculation now, so that's great. So before actually altering the two calculations that I have to move the icons around the map, um, I'm going to create two parameters. Uh, the first one is going to be called vertical slash horizontal, and that's a hard word to type. And what this thing going to do is that it's just going to allow the user to select 
whether they want to see the icons um, placed next to each other or uh, vertically next to each other. So, uh, yeah, this is what this, this parameter is going to help me decide. And then uh, alongside that, I'm going to have another parameter, which I like to call my jitter factor. And basically what this one does is just a number that you select uh, within a range. And it's going to determine uh, how much uh, your icons are spaced apart based on your selection. So it's going to enable you to play around and see what the best uh, what the best spacing would be depending on the zoom level of your map. And so now um, I will go and edit my latitude calculation. And I'm going to be really lazy and I'm actually going to copy uh, the formula from uh, the blog post. So I suggest you do the same. Um, I'm going to paste it underneath here. So I will not be needing this part because I'm already referencing my field in my secondary data source for latitude. Um, and there's a small modification that I need to do. Um, as you can see here, Tableau doesn't seem to like the quote that I copied from the blog post. So what you can do is just replace this um, by a normal quote that you type on your keyboard and do the same for the closing quote and then everything should be fine. And so, what this formula does is actually, it just takes the normal latitude that you'd have to get the icon on the center of the country right here. And what it does is, um, when we selected vertical in our first parameter, so I want the icons to be stacked along the uh, same latitude, uh, sorry, along the same longitude, but with a different latitude, which means higher or lower, then it's going to add this part um, to the coordinate to, to actually move it along the axis there. And so what this part actually is, is um, it's, a, it's a kind of a complicated formula, you'd think, but it's really not that hard. Basically what it does is, using the index function along the categories, it's first going to assign a number to each category. So in this case, uh, for example, farming will get uh, an index of one, industry would be two, services would be three, and then UFO uh, would be four. And what it does is based on those values, it just transforms them into another number. So if I get one, then the result of this formula uh, right here uh, will be one as well. But if I get two, the result will be minus one. And if I have three as an index, then the result will be two. And if I have four as an index, the result will be minus four. And it goes on like that, the three minus three, four minus four, etc. So basically what it does is it alters between a positive and negative number going up one each time. So that again, uh, this way, I get to place the icons uh, next to the one that's normally uh, in the middle, uh, first one on top, then one on the bottom, and then another one uh, above that, and then another one on the bottom, etc. Um, and it just multiplies this by the jitter factor parameter that I put there as well, uh, so I'd be able to play with the spacing between the icons, so that's all it does. So I have this for my latitude, um, and I will do the same for my longitude, I'm actually going to modify it right here, paste it below as well, and then just remove the reference to the other one. Uh, this time, I don't want this to happen when I select that vertical, but rather when I select it horizontal. And that's it, those are my calculations actually. So right now I'm going to show the parameter controls uh, next to the map, and Actually, I've already changed the calculations. You see that they became table calculations here, but the icons haven't moved around yet, and jitter factor parameter isn't working yet. There's just one small thing that I still have to do, and that is um, tell Tableau to compute the index in the functions uh, along the categories so that um, they would get assigned a number and then a different latitude or longitude. And you see now the icons just twitched a little bit, uh, and if I augment the jitter factor, you'll see that Tableau starts moving the icons further and further apart, and if I decrease it, they get back closer together. So this is the actual effect that I was hoping for. So now I can alternate uh, between values of the jitter factor here and see uh, what works best when I zoom in more or less. Um, and then uh, in the same way, I can actually select to place the icons vertically instead of uh, horizontally, and then I might have to change my jitter factor slightly again to show them 
close to each other but as you can see this seems to be working quite well actually um, but again this is just a basis for those formulas that you can use uh, you might want to alter those to your specific needs but this should get you going um, there's even probably a possibility to to show these icons uh, uh, in two different rows for each country when there's more than four or something like that so so there's really tons of stuff you can do there but I will let you figure all that out so Thank you for watching the video, and again, uh, on the bottom, uh, in the video description, there is a link to the blog post in case you want to follow this step by step. So, good luck!